Now, following the announcement made by the Lagos State Government, Babajide, Governor rather, Babajide Somulu, that the state is working towards the possible reopening of primary and secondary schools in September 21, the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, SEBAB, has organized a two-day training of principals, head teachers, selected guardians and counsellors, and classroom teachers in post-COVID-19 response and management. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku reports. Arriving at the sum of the six selected different locations across the state for the organized training ahead of school resumption, Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board members visited the schools where the training has been conducted for an inspection. You understand the basic protocols that needs to happen in school. And you're also equipped with the psychosocial uh, skills. The pandemic has since brought about some new numbers, and Subair board members believe the training is apt and timely. It is our responsibility in Suburb to act on the governor's uh, order and ensure that we prepare our school and our school infrastructure for school resumption. And this preparation is in two formats. First is the mental and psychological preparation. The second is infrastructural preparation. And what we're doing, championed by our department, Basic Education Quality Assurance Department, is to first ensure that the manpower, the human resource, of our schools and our basic education sector is empowered to deal with the challenges that COVID has placed. We are here to train them how to handle the pupils, how to first of all keep themselves safe and how to keep the pupils safe. When they resume, it's expected that we are going to experience uh, so many attitudes, so many change in characters from these pupils because they have been at home for like three to four months. Some of them are not even willing to come to school. Some will come to school and they will be sleeping. Some will be crying. We we'll see so many funny attitudes. One of the facilitators also stressed on the essence of the training exercise and on the other hand, the board members enlisted some details of the training. It is really compulsory and important that we have this training for each school teacher leader and head of school. The mental state of teachers are very, is very important. Actually, initially when we started, we all had, they all had an opportunity to talk about that part of, you know, of their lives during this lockdown. Most of our schools actually have clinics to ensure that when we detect anything, our response and our action, and that is what we are sharing with the head teachers and the principals now, how do we respond when we identify? How do we call for support? How do we isolate? Those are the things that we've been able to, we're working on the protocol around that, that is now also being shared with the head teachers. And we're also working with them in the classes to also, you know, share their proposed ideas and solutions. Though it might be a prayer answered on the news of schools reopening plans, the essence of this training cannot be overemphasized in assuring preparedness of students, parents, teachers and school personnel in post-COVID-19 response and management. Jacinta Obiuku, PLOS TV Africa.